What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create an intro using an online website. Now this is 100% free. The website I'm gonna be using is known as Panzoid, and the link to it will be in the description. Now pretty soon I'm gonna be starting different types of tutorials like on GIMP. If there's anything specific that you wanna see, just let me know in the comments below and I'll get it uploaded. So here we are on panzoid.com and I will be having a link to this in the description. It is such an easy website to use. Let's get to it. So when you first go on it, you'll see this is what you'll see. There are a bunch of templates for you to use. Now I know it just shows nine, but all you need to do is select more creations. And of course, here you go. You can select from a lot more. So another great thing about this website, you can see you can also categorize how you want to choose a template. For example, by default, you're onto trending. You can also use latest, top, following, and you can also search for something as well. So let's say your channel's related to gaming, or just type in gaming, press enter. As you can see, it comes up with some different types of gaming intros you can use. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is simply using one from trending. So I'm gonna use this one here, which is nasty, insane intro, also pretty good sync. So I'm gonna select that. And then from here, this will open up. And what you then wanna select is open in clip maker. Now, one thing I also want to point out, it does credit the user who created it. So you can see this was created by someone called Renegade. So it's a massive community basically created on this website where people create templates for other people to use. That simple. So you select open in Clip Maker. Now, of course, there is a lot to this, so it will take a little bit of time to load. However, it is now done. The first thing you're going to do is see all of this. Now, don't be put off. It is super simple to edit. So head over to the side over here. And as you can see, we've got the basics. This is going to be telling you the video resolution, so you can see it is set to 4K. You can then head over to the next one, which is Scene. This is when you can choose a sky, if you want to land it on or off. Now, for those familiar with Cinema 4D, you can see it's very similar to that, except an online version and a budget version. But now we're on to Objects, and most likely, when you want to edit your text, this is where the text will be. So you can see, first of all, we have Nasty. So I'm going to select that, and then I'm going to type in here Casual. You need to press enter on your keyboard in order for the effect to take place. I'm going to select the other piece of text and I'm just going to type in savage and press enter on my keyboard again. Now, of course, you do get control of the font and everything else. For example, the height, the thickness, the bevel, if you want it on or off. The position I wouldn't worry about simply because you are using a template. It is set up for the best possible position. By all means, do change the size, the font and of course the color if you want to as well. So the color is at the bottom here. We'll just change this to a white and that is done and I'm going to change that casual color to a yellow just like that moving on you then have the effects button again this isn't something you would need to touch on a template simply because everything is set up for you you are literally basically done after this moving on you then get control of the camera again you wouldn't need to touch and you also get control of the audio which is taking place now me personally, I wouldn't be inserting the audio for the intro in here. I would actually export the video, put it into my video editor, then play around with some different types of audios to use. So anyway, once you're all happy, just select this next button here, which says download. Then you can see, you can choose the mode. Now this tells you how good and how, of course, how slow it will be to download. For the example, I'm gonna be using the fastest render simply just so we can get it out of the way quicker for the tutorial. The format you can choose between MP, MKV and WEBM. What I recommend is MKV. All you need to do is select start video render. Now, we did pick the quickest render, but you did see there was a lot to it, like the skies. There's also a lot of effect, effects to the um, intro itself. So hopefully this will not take too long, but you can see it's taken about 50 minutes. So I'm gonna be back to you when this is done. So the video is finally complete. It did take a roughly about 40 minutes hence why you didn't see anything else. However, let's play through what was actually created. 